Now, it's a debate that's led to the brink of war, to many things being thrown at television sets. When is a goal a goal? There's some very enduring scars. Remember England's disputed third goal in the 1966 World Cup final? Did the ball actually cross the line? Well, today, the English Premier League clubs voted to introduce the British-made Hawkeye camera technology from the beginning of next season to settle this argument once and for all. Here's Jordan Jared Bryan. The longest-running question in football is to be asked no more. Did it cross the line? This Pedro Mendes goal for Tottenham in 2005 reopened an old debate for football to leave the dark ages and join other elite sports. The technology that has been successful in cricket and tennis will finally be introduced into the Premier League. It's Hawkeye who have been awarded the contract to run the goal line cameras in next season's Premier League. But how is it going to work? Well, in true Channel 4 style, we're going to show you the best way we know how. Foosball. Let's assume this table is a stadium. Hawkeye uses seven cameras per goal, which are usually located in various positions on the roof. Hawkeye claim the system will detect the ball in the penalty box to the nearest millimeter. So let's see one of those controversial goals then. Was it in or not? Let's see that again using our version of Hawkeye. Yes, it was. If players are in the way, the technology allows those players to be removed to establish an even more conclusive view. Hawkeye has been trialled since 2011 at Southampton St Mary Stadium. And at a meeting today, all 20 Premier League clubs met to agree on its inclusion at an estimated cost of a quarter of a million pounds per club. They decided to choose a British firm over three rivals, who all happen to be German one of which was chosen by football's world governing body FIFA for international fixtures. The technology will be um, accurate, it will be fast, that's the, probably the most important thing. You have to be able to make this positive decision before the ball can be up there and in, uh, in, in, in the net, uh, the other end. And also um, the reason we've gone with Hawkeye is because we are confident that they will be able to reproduce this graphic televisually in order to give viewers and fans in the stadium the chance to see that the decision was right. It's one of those momentous days that will go down with days like the changing of the offside law and, and uh, not least of all of course the, the, the back pass to the goalkeeper rule which many of us at the time were, were very sceptical about and yet now we've taken it to our hearts and we even actually quite appreciate it. So with this new technology being introduced where will it end? Will we see cameras used to decide another age-old debate? Was he or wasn't he offside? The next time there's a, a hugely offside goal in a big game, the media will just move on to that and we'll have two, three, four years of pressure on there becoming some kind of video review system for offside decisions. And, and as soon as everything becomes solved in the eyes of the, of the football media, it will move on to something else. And, and there's, no, there's no panacea. People should just accept that referees get decisions wrong, that's part of the game. That's what everyone who's taken part of it has signed up for. The Premier League currently say the technology will only be used for goal line queries, meaning disallowed goals like this will soon be a thing of the past. Well, goal or no goal, we've come to the end of the programme, but you can still follow us on Twitter. But that's Channel 4 News from Matt and from me. Good evening. <laughs>